Sam O'Reilly from Fight Talk. I'm here with Josh Warrington at the um, the big launch, the BT Sport uh, Frank Warren Presser. How are you, mate? Very well, very well. Uh, excited to be here. Excited to um, announce a fight date. Um, just fucking excited to get back going. You know? a, like, <laughs> we touched on it. July 30th was the last time you were out. Feels like that. Really long know. time. You're back Feels in like May. Forever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just talk us through what the injury was and why it's going to be so long. Uh, just like just one of the box of injuries. You know, you got little niggles in your in your arm and your elbows and stuff like that. Um, we didn't have no like fight day uh, range, even though there was plenty spoke about by end of November. I, I looked at like November, December, different um, days, but it never happened. And you know, left a bit frustrated. So well, I didn't have no plan. I just rested up and uh, let myself heal. And you know, I'm back in training now. She obviously changed over and uh, can't wait to work out. I bet. Rather fittingly, your last fight um, under Matchroom was at Leeds, and your first fight for Frank Warren BT Sport is also going to be at Leeds. Yeah. Um, well, it's my hometown, town, isn't it? You know, I'm, um, the fight got a big fan base there. You know, the, the fight fans that are all part of the journey. You know, come to Leeds and support me. They're all wanting me to go on and, and get that world title, and I want, I want to deliver it for them. And uh, I'm hungry to do so. It's, I think that um, the, the last, <laughs> the last three fights have been like more or less fringe world title. I think people uh, really want me to see you go on and do it. But I think just to be back and feed the starvation of not seeing me for a while is uh, the first thing in order. I think by end of year we'll have a world title fight. That's what I was going to touch on. Have you spoke with Frank? Plans and yeah, how long? Yeah, I mean after. After, after signing up with him, we the first uh, couple of days, he phoned me up, he said, listen, um, I'm, I'm well, dead excited to be working with you, um, do everything I can to, to get you a short world title and, and uh, hopefully you can become a world champion and uh, that's what you want to hear, it's refreshing, you know, and I, I believe I can do, you know, and, um, I've been a bit naive over the last two years, you know, like keeping myself a bit quiet and just just looking at the next fight in front, but we're so close to the top of the mountain now, you know, let's can give it all, let's get everything out and go for it and um, you know I want some of these big fights like Amagasi with a tough fight and Padjo with a very big name and I got through them pretty well and uh, still loads left, left to give so that, that Patrick Highland fight in July was if I'm honest it was the best it was I've seen perfect. I mean it was what people, beautiful what people forget when I went in straight into that Amagasi one off of Joe Bugner when I boxed him on September 5th I didn't fight again until April you know I was meant to fight um, end of 2015, but I had to pull out dual wellness and then I didn't find that. You know, it's a, when you have that void, it's not good for you really. It's good to have momentum, fights regular. It's like a footballer who comes back from an injury. When he gets back on touch, might be a little bit off, but when he's playing regularly, he's scoring, he's on fire. You know, they say that's a that's a player in form and that's what is like fire. And I'm a gas and we're a tough fight. I went straight back in the gym after that. But I wasn't meant to fight um, Padjo, I was meant to just have a takeover fight and then I end up, you know, a big fight with Padjo. But I kept myself in gym, kept myself in shape, and it was punch perfect. Everything we've been working on, it paid off. My timing was perfect, my, 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 I think a lot of my punching power was perfect, speed, everything was just good. And, uh, and, you know, we carried on that going into September, October, and now whatever came about, which a bit left me a bit frustrated. And you can only hold your peak for so long before you're going to have a couple of weeks off and then go back at it. So I'm back. Backing now and um, you know trying to get as fair as I can. And I mean that that fight there, it, it was the first time I'd watched the ringside, and it was as impressive as a performance you've probably put yeah, on your entire yeah. career. Had Joe Donnell lost the world champions, and you know he'd, he'd gone over America and he'd, he'd bossed some big shows over there. You know he'd, he'd, he'd beat some, he'd, he'd knocked out a lot more guys than, yeah. than I have. Let's put it that way. And someone like that, you've always got to be wary. So I had to go in there and be switched on. And anybody at this level, you've got to be switched on. But um, I had to show as well because after, after that, I guess. When I watched it back, I, had a, I knew I could have got him out there if I'd have put my foot on gas, and I would have like I would be too cautious. So this time I thought, listen, I'm not stick to a boxing ability. But if I've got the opportunity to go for a knockout, and I think after about five rounds I had it there, um, it was just a, a matter of when. Um, and I'm well happy with that performance. I was, like I say, I felt fit. I could have done another 10, 10 rounds on top of that. So. With that, that was obviously your last fight under Matchroom. Promotionally, you've changed over now. Frank Warren, a 
massive amount of eyes are going to be on BT Sport, Box Nation and stuff. How excited are you for the journey? Oh, it's, it's having me as like a you know, flag bearer alongside you know, Nick and Adams of, of uh, BT Sports. Obviously, to get back to Leeds, we're very on the card. It's, it's going to be exciting. Um, there's a BT and Box Nation, they're, they're really having a good go of um, you know, getting behind the boxing, you know, getting. Uh, Boxing back into a big level on their channel, and uh, I'm excited to be part of it. You know, um, and you know, it's a competitive market. You obviously you've got match with the guys at Sky, you've got ITV, and them guys, and, and the guys at Channel Five. So it's all good. We'll, Definitely, uh, boxing is booming this year. It's saying it's it, is, it is, and um, these guys are getting they're excited to get right behind me, and, and um, you know, make sure I get that world title fight. I think it says a lot the fact that your first fight back, and no messing about, straight back to Leeds, your hometown. Yeah. So they've, they've shown a lot of faith. In the, the Leeds fans are starved a bit. I mean, Leeds United have been keeping them uh, preoccupied with uh, playing well on pitch. But you know, we fight fans, um, they miss some crazy nights, and I've, I've certainly missed them. You know, going out to Leeds Arena, walking out in front of that crowd, it's um, you can't buy that feeling. And fighting and performing in front of them, it's, you know, I'm fighting. It's what I do. I set it up on stage, and I miss doing it. If you, you know, if you if you enjoy doing something regularly, you want to be doing it all the time time and it just felt like I've been a waste of space man just sat at home so right, listen I'm pretty sure it ain't gonna be long till you're, you're, no, you're at the stadium back home, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm refreshed recharged and ready to go again ready to uh, get these big fights on the way and, uh, and get some good performances on man I look forward to seeing you back in the Joss Warren and thank you for talking to the fight thank you very much